Hi, I'm Mark Scaife, and I'm here to show and tell you about the latest in the legend that is Holden Special Vehicles. Today I want to show you how an HSV car becomes a premium product, and introduce you to the latest range of Series 2 LS1 engine models. It's at times like this that we reflect on just how far HSV has come in its short history. Holden has always had a proud history of success on the racetrack, and the logical extension was to produce high performance, low volume, special road vehicles, utilising the strong base product from Holden, and the experience gained from the factory back race team. Back in 1987, Holden called for tenders for the construction and marketing of Holden Special Vehicles. Tom Walkinshaw had designed an aero package for the VL Group A Commodore and had a contract to supply these to Holden. TWR, or Tom Walkinshaw Racing, won the Special Vehicles tender and HSV was officially born in late 1987. And the rest, as they say, is history. Today, HSV is a brand name synonymous with style, high performance motoring and perhaps most respected for its determination to provide exceptional motor cars. Cars that offer performance and luxury better than a lot of imported alternatives that are often two to three times their price. HSV is a true automotive experience and not just the purchase of a motor car. The appeal of HSV spreads from young to old, city to country. It has a following based on a proud history of Holden Motorsport achievements and a group of enthusiastic retailers backing the product and the HSV client right through the ownership experience. You can participate in the HSV phenomenon in lots of ways. We're proud of our customer support programs that can make the HSV dream come alive. For instance, Australia's most popular automotive motorsport website, hsv.com.au, receives in excess of 100,000 hits per day. Membership to Club One, the factory racing team's own loyalty program. The HSV Frequent Buyers Club for the many HSV owners who can't stop at one HSV vehicle. Our quarterly HSV magazine, Accelerate, keeps our owners informed of in-house developments and lifestyle trends. Classics, the HSV certified used car program that makes it almost as good to buy a used HSV as it does a new one. For thousands of fans each year, they simply show their support for HSV by the purchase of our merchandise. Or if you want to be one of the 3,000 or so people per year that tour HSV's factory, then book in and see for yourself how these special cars are made. For every HSV owner, there have been many more who would aspire to own one of these great Australian made machines. So how does it happen? What goes into making one of these unique HSVs? Someone's hand finished, individually numbered special vehicle. First of all, you need to understand that HSV cars are not just Holdens with bits added to them. They're fully engineered and design registered motor cars, each model specified from the Holden factory, ready to become an HSV classic. HSV undertakes stringent testing programs alongside Holden through the harshest of Australian conditions to test the engine performance, transmission, suspension and body integrity to ensure that an HSV car exceeds the toughest requirements of our own engineers and complies to the Australian design rules. Our designs are patented against backyard copy merchants to protect your investment. And of course, this all adds up to a package that is fully warranted for three years or 100,000 kilometres on the entire vehicle. The HSV organisation is compliant to ISO 9001 quality processes, and you can be sure that your HSV investment has been engineered to the highest possible standards. HSV owner satisfaction is enhanced through our network of specialist appointed retailers in Australia and New Zealand. Each sales and service specialist is appointed trained and dedicated to the performance and luxury car owner's needs. Every HSV car starts life as a Holden, and what better heritage could you ask for? In cooperation with Holden, HSV have been able to develop a core list of requirements that result in the special build of every HSV car that's produced at Holden's world-class production facility in Elizabeth, South Australia. One of the most impressive features of this car is the LS1 all-alloy 5.7 litre V8 which develops 250 kilowatts of power and 473 newton metres of torque, which is up by about 30 kilowatts over the standard Holden engine. The LS1 engine is essentially the same that is fitted to the hot new C5 Corvette and the Camaro and Firebird. So it comes from a long line of 350 Chevrolet history and 44 years of heritage in America's favourite sports cars. Features of this engine include an all alloy construction for lightweight and better handling response. Cylinder block liners are cast iron. The crankshaft is retained by a six bolt main bearing cap and the block itself is a deep skirt design which extends beyond the main bearings to join up with the cast alloy sump to form a structural member. Pistons are lightweight and the conrods are hot forged for greater durability and strength. 
Roller lifters and roller rockers reduce valve train friction and support the high RPM flexibility of this engine. This sort of gear is normally standard equipment on race car engines. Each spark plug has its own ignition lead and high energy coil to maximise spark efficiency. The intake manifold is a polymer casing with long runners to maximise torque and this is enhanced with state of the art sequential fuel injection. This is where the HSV technicians take over and get to work on creating a special vehicle. Let's follow this car which is to become Club Sport R8 number 67 through some of the key points in the HSV build process. Most of our cars are pre-sold and many customers request the same build number they've had previously. I've reserved number two, which is my current racing number. After pre-delivery, the car moves onto the line and we begin work. First it's the engine cold air intake and the 250 kilowatt recalibration on the LS1 V8 engine. This is where we also stamp the individual build plate for the car and apply this to the radiator support panel. Sam has been doing this here since day one at HSV and that adds up to around 25,000 build plates that have been stamped and applied in that time. All LS1 HSV V8 engines run on Mobile One oil and this is where that premium lubricant goes in. Through here we make the necessary exhaust, suspension and braking system changes and really start to add the special components. This is the performance brake package as fitted standard on the Club Sport R8 with 330mm front disc rotors and twin piston calipers with 315 on the rear. These are the race bred brakes not unlike the ones we use on our race cars. 343mm front disc with four pot calipers front and rear. That's 16 pistons acting on the discs all around the car. The disc brake rotors are cross drilled to provide better cooling and increase friction levels by releasing the gas from the surface of the pads to improve their efficiency. No wonder HSV call these premium brakes. HSV have four different suspension systems fitted here. HSV Sport on Club Sport and XU6. Performance on Club Sport R8 and currently on SV99. Luxury suspension on Senator Signature models and Prestige suspension on the long wheelbase Grange. This is an area that really makes a big difference to the car, as I'll show you on the track soon. Here you can see how technicians upgrading the suspension on this car by replacing standard equipment with special springs, shock absorbers and stabiliser bars. The entire exhaust has been replaced with the HSV free flow extractors and stainless steel exhaust system. Now we turn our attention inside the car and at this point we transform the interior by changing the seat fabric and bolstering, door trims, dash fascias and other components to create a special HSV environment for the driver and the passengers. These body kits are sourced from Austria in pursuit of the ultimate quality standard. Now it's really starting to take shape, isn't it? Club Sport R8 number 67 is receiving the finishing touches. Wheels and tyres are the last items to go on. In this case, 18 inch with the premium Bridgestone SO2 tyre. The Bridgestone SO2 tyre is in my opinion one of the world's best performance tyres. It's fitted to HSV cars and other performance cars like Porsche. It has a directional pattern, is ZR rated, which means it's designed for speeds in excess of 240k. Now it's into final inspection, where our technicians will check every aspect of the build quality before taking it on a final road test. So far you've seen how we test, develop and manufacture Holden Special Vehicles. But how do they really perform? We're at Holden's Lang Lang Proving Ground, a place that we've used extensively as HSV to look at our ride and handling. The circuit that we actually run around on is called the ride and handling circuit and it offers a good compromise of slow and fast corners, bumps and different cambers and as a little test track is as good as you would find. The Club Sport R8 is a new vehicle in the HSV lineup. Basically, the R8 is placed between the traditional Club Sport and the GDS. The car fitted with the new LS1 250 kilowatt engine is certainly, in terms of performance, an improvement over the predecessor. The engine performance is matched by its drivability and its throttle response, which has been calibrated by the HSV engineers. The most important thing about the car is that it's integrated to the point where the engine performance is matched by the chassis dynamics and the tyre performance and the braking capability, which is important obviously in terms of making performance touring cars. So that's the technicalities of the Club Sport R8, but what's it really mean for the driver? 
Obviously the engine performance is there, it's more BMW-ish, European V8, it's more high revving and more sophisticated. The shock absorber changes we've made, the front spring and the rear semi-trailing arm bushes have made the car less pitch sensitive, more neutral in its handling balance and certainly more rewarding and enjoyable to drive. On a country road where the camber changes or a bump may catch you out, it's not as twitchy and it's certainly less nervous. It really is great fun. It's the sort of performance touring car that real drivers would like to drive. The ride and handling circuit has a good match of slow and fast corners. This is a second gear corner with the car on the exit of this corner quite high in its rev range and as you can see the car is very controllable and certainly very very quick. Fast right hander, absolutely neutral lock and even over those sorts of bumps and even with as much throttle on as we had and the sort of grip level that the car has it's certainly very controllable and the car is very enjoyable. I mean it's one of the, one of the good things about it. The other features of the ride and handling track is a simulation of the country road camber change come quite fast direction change and from the right hand, left hand, right hand combination we're able to make sure that under those sorts of scenarios that the car is still very flowing and very neutral and certainly one of the things about the car is that even at quite high speed with quite high grip thresholds it offers a lot of feedback for the driver and obviously a fair bit of confidence. Another feature of the proving ground is obviously the amount of things that we can test. One of the things that we've looked at in terms of shock absorber design and tyre grip for manoeuvrability is through the slalom. Let's have an attack at this. Pretty impressive. I explained about the Club Sport R8 brake performance, and especially with the premium option, the car has clearly the ABS feature, but the retardation in terms of rotor size and caliper design to be able to pull it up from this is just over 100k as quickly as you can imagine. Not a bad feature. The 250 kilowatt LS1 engine is certainly impressive in terms of its outright performance and the drivability and throttle response to match. But if we give it a little run like this, I'm certain you'll agree that when you rev it, that 6,000 revs now, it's certainly honking on. This is the first of the latest model lineup, HSV's Club Sport. It's our most popular model. 250 kilowatt LS1 engine, bright colour toned interior, six speed T56 manual transmission, or four speed HSV calibrated turbo hydromatic auto. Driver's airbag, 17 inch Bridgestone SO2 tires, aircon, central locking, CD player, cruise control, electric windows, ESS, HSV's embedded security system, HSV's owner's compartment, headlamps, auto on and off, and fire extinguisher. This is the Senator Signature, with additional special features like luxury specified suspension, with centre track dampers and level ride, 17 inch wheels standard, or 18 inch wheels like these when you specify the performance pack, which includes suspension, brakes, and seating alternatives light shale leather interior, wood grain dash surround, 10 stack CD player, climate control dual zone and passenger and side impact airbags. This is the all new SV99. This one's been reserved for Grant Hackett. It's one of only 99, all in Hackett gold, with special features like a hot mustard leather interior covering the steering wheel and gear lever boot, performance suspension, premium brakes and unique 18 inch wheels. 
And the Grange, HSV's long wheelbase limousine with distinctive features like HSV fascias, grille and body kit and 18 inch wheels. Prestige HSV suspension with level ride, light shale leather interior, memory position seating, rear bucket seat pads, driver, passenger and side impact airbags. This is the all new Club Sport R8. It's my value for money favourite in the HSV latest lineup. With 18 inch wheels, performance suspension, performance brakes and seats. The Club Sport R8 offers a performance per dollar equation that makes this surely the best performance touring car package in Australia today. But the thing that you can't put a price on is the character of the car. It means different things to different people, but to me it's the whole package. It's the reassurance and backing from Holden, the extent of the engineering development and testing that produces a quality motor vehicle like this. It's the fact that it's more than just a motor car, that HSV owners are joining a very special and private club closely associated with the factory racing team. And only they know they have something so special. Maybe they like it that way because if everyone had an HSV car, they wouldn't be special anymore. Or perhaps it's the individuality and sheer look of the thing which makes people say, I just want one.